Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If receiving payment at the time of sale, you fill out a sales receipt to record the customer payment. When you invoice a customer and receive payment on that invoice at a later point in time, you record the payment within QuickBooks Receive Payments window. This allows you to match customer payments to customer invoices. To open this window, select Customers and choose the Receive Payments command from the menu bar. The simplest payment case occurs when a customer has one outstanding invoice and sends you a payment for the full amount. However, you can also enter partial payments if you receive them. You can even select to which invoices you apply the payment amount. If you receive one payment, you can apply the amount to multiple invoices as well. QuickBooks can also handle prepayments, down payments, and overpayments. In this chapter, you will look at the different ways you can handle customer payments. To enter a full payment you receive, select the customer or customer job from whom you are receiving the payment from the Received From drop-down within the Receive Payments window. Any unpaid invoices for the selected customer or customer job will be displayed at the bottom of the window. Select the date that the payment was received from the date calendar selector. Enter the payment amount into the amount field. If using QuickBooks 2015 or QuickBooks 2014 R3, click the Payment Method button in the window that corresponds to the method of payment received. If needed, you can click the drop-down arrow that appears in the lower right corner of this button group to view additional payment methods in a drop-down menu. You can then select the additional payment method from this drop-down. For credit or debit payments, you can select a card type from the Payment drop-down field and enter the card number and expiration into the card number and expiration date fields shown in the drop-down menu that appears when you click the Credit or Debit Payment button. You would then click the Done button in the drop-down menu to record the credit card information. If they pay by check, enter the check number into the check number field that appears. If using QuickBooks 2014 R1 or QuickBooks 2013, you would instead use the Payment Method drop-down to select the method of payment used. At the bottom of this window, ensure that there is a check mark in the checkmark column to the left of the invoice against which you are receiving payment. Note that all funds received within this window are placed into the undeposited funds account by default. When you are finished, click the Save and Close button to save and close the Receive Payments window. If you have other customer payments to process, you may find it easier to instead click the Save and New button to save the transaction but leave the Receive Payments window open so you can continue entering customer payments. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.